Hey, what's up guys? Sharp Tony here, and we finally freaking have it. The Froob Leveling Guide for Anarchy Online. I've been asked to do it for a long, 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 long time, and I'm sorry it took so long, but I wanted to compile a list that I thought would be fun and efficient at the same time, so I wanted to make it, like, not the same as all the other lists that there are out there and all the other guides that there are out there, so I wanted to make it kind of fun for you guys. And in this, I want you to not forget two things. One, daily missions. Because those will pretty much give you a free at least level at almost any level, even as a froob. And the other thing I don't want you to forget is regular freaking missions. You could literally do missions. You could pull them by yourself. You could request them and pull them for pretty much anywhere you want. That one's like two feet away. This one's in old Athens. So you could pull them in the most convenient of places. And you could use that to make credits and level all the way from 1 to 200. And that's all you have to do. So keep in mind, there's a point I'm going to say, just go freaking do a mission because that's going to be your best bet that's going to be the smartest thing and quickest thing for you to get that bang bang action in baby you know what i'm talking about that lifestyle that we've become accustomed to but the first place i'm going to say is stay on through island new island whatever you want to call it the starter area to about level five once you get to level five you could pick clan omni or neutral each will put you in a place which will put you about 10 feet from a subway Eat fresh. This is where you want to go. Hop in here. The subway is going to be good, even if you get off the island at like level 2, literally. The subway is going to be very efficient, probably the quickest way for you to... Holy freaking crap. Okay. It's going to be the quickest way and most efficient way for you to level for... I'd say probably all the way from 5 till... I would stay here till about 20 there are mobs in here there are bosses there is money to be made in this dungeon my friends you could sell the loot you could freaking just kill stuff these mobs in here started around level six they're gonna go all the way down to the bosses i don't remember what level the boss is 30 something like that maybe he's 40 but i'm telling you this is the place to go and since all of the dungeons on rubicon got bumped up with their xp this is going to be a nice stop for you one thing I did forget to mention is the level cap on the subway is level 25, so if you want to stay in there till then, that's perfect. Or you could stay there till about 22, and then you could come here to Newland Desert. You want to talk to this guy, Wincall or Carrick? Any, anyone could do this. You're going to say blah, blah, blah. Just click that. Give him like 10k credits or 5. I don't even know what it is. I just usually throw whatever at him. Take your Temple of Three Winds key, and that's our next step. We use this portal right here. The other way you can get here is just... If you're clan, you can go to tier and just run north. You're not really going to run into many problems there. But here we have it, the Temple of Three Winds. It is one of the, my favorite places in the game of all time. I think it is one of the most fun dungeons. You could stay here from about 22, 22 to about 50, 55. The level cap here is 60. And there are tons of bosses here. The mobs here start at around, you'll find them 25, maybe you'll find the lowest. And there are bosses on top of bosses. The loot here is phenomenal. I do have a guide on Temple of Three Winds up if you want to take a look. But make sure you're geared pretty nicely. The cultists don't hit for much, but I'd t keep a lookout for any mob with two words in the name. Because you're going to find they're going to have the best loot for you. And there are very many strong bosses here. The Stygian Desolator drops here. Frost Scythe of the Legionnaire. Energy Scythe. Howling Skulls. Exarch Rope. Guardian Tank Armor. Guardian Circuit Board. Uh, fraud Shrimp. Uh, bigger Batter Shrimp. Shrimp Bisque. I don't know. But <laughs> there's tons of crap that drops here. And it is probably one of my favorite places. If you want to explore it, I would highly recommend it. Just follow these paths, keep going straight down, and get to level 55 here, or maybe even 60. I'd say the best way of killing here would be cultists until you can kill the legionnaires. So the next place I'm going to suggest for you to go is going to be Biomare, also known as the Foreman's Office, on your map. Coordinates, we're going to sit about 1880, 963. I will warn you, if you are not... Uh, Omni, you're going to have a little bit of a problem getting in here. There are level 40 guards that do guard this place. That's not really a high-level guard, but if you do get lost in here, you might just find yourself fricked up real quick. The quickest way you're going to get here is probably just take either Run from Bliss, the Wampa if you're clan, F grid to 6M, or if you really want. See, there's multiple guards in here. Oh, this one will attack you on sight. What a freaking BA he is. Or... If you are Omni or don't mind running the risk, you could take 
Where is it? The wampa to two holes is somewhere in here. 2HO, which says on there. It doesn't mean you got two holes. Well, I don't know how many holes you have. That's really your business. I think it's right over yonder. Yes, here it is. Well, no, you take the, the wampa to uh, longest road from two holes. So, there you have it. You can take that road if you want, but if you are not omni or neutral, that might be a very rough road for you. Having said all that, we're going to head into, it's clearly marked Foreman. Foreskin. We just walk right in. There's the door. I'd say if you get here around 55, this is a place you might want to spend a good deal of time in. Maybe, you know, this mob's 42. The mobs when you get in are going to be pretty crappy. So, I will warn that. But once you get further down, it becomes very, very, very impossible to... <laughs> to kill at lower levels you're gonna need to be in nice gear and you can find yourself with some nice loot here a lot of grid armor discs do drop off of the mobs here and even though there aren't many mobs or there aren't very many high level mobs right here the further down you go the higher level they get this mobs level 54 and the mobs will carry you literally into your level 90s there are so many different routes you could go here one day I'll do a guide on this place and if you need money there's so much stuff that drops, you can just bring backpacks with you when you come here. Because not only are you going to get XP, but you're going to ding like crazy. So let's just train a little bit down here, just so you can see a little bit more of the foreman's office. Because I know there's not a lot of people that really have, you know, videos about foreman's. And I really should get one, or make one. Where is it? Not here. Here we go. This is a little secret that not a lot of people know about. This will lead you to the bloaters, or floaters, or whatever you want to call them. These do drop some, all of them drop stuff. There's a very high frequency of grid armor dropping down here. And let's kill a couple of these just so you could see. Because I don't want to leave you in the dust. This is a really, really big dungeon too, so. If you, <laughs> if you want to come down here, make sure you plan out a few hours that you don't have anything to do in real life. So you could get the full effect of what's actually going on in this dungeon. We're just going to keep training down. And as we move farther down, the mobs get to higher levels, obviously. Well, there is somebody here. We haven't caught up to them yet, and I hope I don't train them. What's the secret here? And uh, I shouldn't show you that. Or should I? Nah. Well, these are the floaters. <laughs> there are many different ways around this dungeon. Many, 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 many. There's all little shortcuts and secrets. And here's one of the bosses known as Tri Plumbo. Oh, he just died. Well, here he is again, so let's kill him for the sake of killing him. Just so you can see what I'm talking about with these bosses here. Probably should have buffed, but I don't really care. He is a level 80 boss, surrounded by all these level 60 mobs. And he's really ugly, and it looks like his nipples are very misshapen. So, you can only help, you can't help but feel bad for the guy. What is this? I don't need that spam my NCU with useless garbage. And one more hit, and now he is dead, so let's just loot up. Oh, Corroded Ring. He's actually the only mob that drops a Corroded Ring. And he dropped a Storm Carbonum Breastplate. Sometimes he'll drop some cool stuff. This time, maybe not so much. But I still would suggest coming here, because you're going to make money and you're going to level up. Look at all this crap one mob dropped. And the XP is really good. I know since I'm max research and all that crap, you can't really see how much XP I'm getting. And these are gray. But I'm telling you, get here at level 55 and stay till maybe level 90 or so. If you want to stay a little later, go ahead. You're going to find yourself with a lot of crap to do. And making your tune better just so you can solo more. Because you can also make money just by being in here. Nah, mean. Oh, wait, let's see what we got here. Just credits. That's all I see right there is green, homie. But let's move on. So the next step on our journey is not really a necessary step, but it's a step you might want to take if you need some credits. 
If you look here, we're going to be at Twin Altars on our map in Broken Shores. The actual coordinates for the door to get into this place called the Crypt of Home is 354-2209. I will post all the coordinates in like big letters, so you're not just trying to listen to what I'm saying. But you'll have seen that already, so this is just a completely redundant statement. The level cap here is 110, but you could be warped in at any level. There's a ton of money to be made here. There's mobs in here called Cenobite Shadows. See, there's a level 100 engineer that warps here that do drop... The Chiropteras and Panthers, Blackbirds, all those weapons. Like this guy right here. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky on our first kill. He's level 70. The XP isn't going to be too great until you get further down. But he does drop some good money. It is just a good place to farm money, in my opinion. The mobs aren't particularly hard or something you have to worry about. Oh no, Shadow Cenobites, not the Dark Cenobites. The Shadow Cenobites are the ones that drop the good stuff. But as you can see here, we already have a Dark Pistol, which is a great bureaucrat pistol, and a Necromancer Cloak. Another good item. And here, I believe, we're going to find our first boss, which is an Eclipser. And I'm going to pull this switch. This switch pretty much allows you access to... Oh right, I have to pull both switches. So let's pull both switches. And while this team kills... No, I just pulled both of them. What is it saying? One more. Alright, I guess it's gotta be pretty quick, huh? Okay. It is locked. I thought you'd be able to do it by yourself. Maybe you can't anymore. Maybe it has to be done at the same time. Which is a possibility, so let's just wait and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to see if they pull a switch simultaneously. And we'll try and make it through. There we go. They pulled the switches and that gave us room to run. So once you get further down, you're going to find Eclipsers and other random mobs that don't really drop too much. Or too much that is really worth farming, I guess. But the Necromancer Cloaks, for some reason, people are buying for stupid amounts of prices. And they, these collars do sell for not too much, but enough, I suppose. It gets kind of dark down here. Then you're going to reach the Blorgs, which are lower level mobs. I'm sure this guy's headed right towards where you think he would be headed, which is going to be, oh gosh, for the Shadow Cenobites. But there are many paths you could take in here. And this is more of a credit stop than anything else, but I know I'm rambling about this place, so let's move on. The next spot we're going to take you to is a place in Mort that's actually going to be Cyborgs. We're at a place right now called Ruins. It's marked on your map. It is also known as uh, coordinates 1401-547. There's a team here right now, and they're all... You could even come here at like level in your 70s. These guys are between 70 and 90, and these Cyborgs are 170. It's a great place to actually solo kill them. Because they're super, super easy to kill. And the XP is going to be capped for a long, long, long time. I suggest you bring some friends. And this is going to be a place where you're really going to thrive and going to have a great time. Because these mobs don't hit for that much. Let me help them out. Sit down. There you go. And they do have some nice loot on them too. So if you guys want to check this out, this is something I definitely say go to. You could stay here probably till like 130, 140. And you're, after that, you're going to want to mix in team missions. And there's one more dungeon I could show you that you may want to mix in. Another good thing about this place is the poles are really, really freaking... <sighs> My throat hurts very far apart. And that is convenient because it's convenient. Because then you don't get ads. Why would you the frick do you want ads? What freaking... You don't want ads. But as you can see here, this team's probably going to all get over level 100 in the matter of no time flat at all. None. Whatsoever. One thing I did forget to mention, oops, the quickest way to get here is um, take the grid to Sentinels and just fly southwest a little bit. Shout out to Penicillin, I don't know if you'll ever see this or if you'll ever know you're on the show, but uh, you're on, so hi. And shout out to the rest of the team. Bang, bang. The last step I'm going to bring you guys is going to be a place called Smuggler's Den. It's in, as you see here, where the frick's my map? <laughs> take the fixer grid to 7L for South, south Fowl Hills. Smuggler's Den is on there, as usual, and our coordinates are going to be 1174872. The way to punch in coordinates, by the way, bring up your mini-map, make sure it says show buttons, 
And then you can just freaking type the crap into here and hit add waypoint and freaking bang bang you're there. You know what I'm saying? And you're there. So let's go in. This is a fun place to go to, but at this point and this stage of the game, what I would suggest to you is if you want to solo in here, you're going to have a good time. Or if you're not looking to solo anymore, do team missions and do Borgs, and that's what's going to carry you all the way to 220 from here. You will find generally a high frequency of people in here. Or at least this engineer. Den Mantis Runner. So let's just kill this thing. They do have a decent HP bar, but they don't really hit for too hard, and their attack rating's not through the roof like you'd find with most dungeon mobs but as you see here the mobs do get quickly stronger so we're just gonna keep running and running and running and as we get further down the mobs get stronger disregard that message please don't freaking read my messages if I can't read yours where's the door is this the place I came from? I always get so confused in here. Yes, this was the door I came from. Ah, there we go. There's a Den Mantis Queen. You're not going to find too much money in here, but you're going to find really nice XP, and a lot of dailies will bring you through here. And it gets to a point where the mobs really don't pass, like, level 120. Ah, oh, 220 crat in here. Go figure. It is a quick trip to the bottom. It's not as big as a lot of other of these dungeons tend to be. I just want to bring you guys all the way home. We made it this far. That Ravager... Whoa, that Ravager's 180? Oh, I guess he's a boss? Well, let's kill him just for the sake of killing him. It's been a long time since I've been... It's literally been since before Shadowlands came out that I've been in here because... There used to be an item called the Queen Blade that was like the sickest thing in the world to use, but apparently it's not anymore because it's not useful anymore. <laughs> it has easily been outclassed by everything else that has come out. So, let's see what he drops. Not sure what's going to happen. Carbonic Rock, which is useless. You can get it freaking anywhere. Um, here we go. We're running in the same direction we just came from. That's the only thing I don't like about this place, is my sense of direction gets all screwed up because everything looks so similar. I guess he was the boss for this room. Uh, wow, it's been so long since I've been in here. Isn't there another door over here? Huh. I don't freaking know. I'm just a boy. Oh, right, here we go. I can't jump that? Wow, I suck. If I can't jump that. At 220, I should be able to jump whatever the heck I want to jump. There we go. Yeah, this is the path that brings you in the direction you got to go to. Aha. And I guess that Ravager isn't a boss. I guess they are that level. Holy crap. So yeah, no, you're going to find yourself with a lot of stuff to solo down here. And a lot of crap to do. And then you'll find yourself stuck in a wall because you're running too fast. Slow down, Sharp. Slow down. And then you have these crappy level 92 mobs again. And then you find yourself back outside. So, the queen we kind of missed, but um, I hope you guys like that guide. And remember, missions, borgs, all that stuff. And I showed you a way that you're not just going to freaking level up. You're going to freaking be rich as crap because you're going to be looting all the stuff that's worth so much money that you could sell and you could even gear yourself with. So, freaking keep that in mind. And there is a non-conventional way to do this leveling. If you guys want to see that, the solo old school way that I remember doing this. I could show you guys a tour of Rubika and killing things. That'll be so freaking cool. 
and you'll see almost all of Rubika, and you'll be killing literally everywhere. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. But if you have any questions about this Frub leveling guide, ask down below. Don't forget your dailies. Don't forget freaking missions. Just bang, bang. Be about that action. Let me know how that lifestyle goes, and go ding 200, you Frubes. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.